There is a page that lists your current account limits, and by limits I mean things like the amount of money on credit card you can spend on crypto every week, things like that. You can access it from your profile settings. So if I go to my profile picture in the top right, go to settings, and then go to the left hand panel and go on account limits. It does list everything here. So I can go through this, give some quick explanations, and also some tips and tricks because I've been buying a lot of crypto recently. So I've had some first hand experience with some of these limits and how to overcome them. But two quick caveats. First of all, as you can see in the currency, I'm using a UK Coinbase account. So the limits may well change per country. And secondly, I'm using Coinbase One, which is Coinbase's premium subscription service, which gives you additional benefits. So that might also affect the limits, just in case you're seeing some quite different limits to what you have. But the general rule of thumb is the limits are dynamic and they can increase and decrease, mainly based on your spending habits. So particularly things like card purchases on debit or credit card and PayPal, this tends to be based on the amount you're spending in the previous, say, month or few months. So I've had an increase, certainly with PayPal. I believe the default limit is around £3,000 in the UK per day, by the way. So it's quite a big limit. But because I was buying a lot of PayPal regularly, I have an increased limit of 7500 So this has definitely increased since using it. The card purchases in general, this one, I believe this has been increased a bit or this may actually be the default. It's actually quite hard to say, but this is per week. So it's still quite a big limit, but if you are buying crypto at a fast rate, you will quickly hit this limit. And when it says per week, per day, it doesn't mean like a calendar day or a calendar week. It just means from the point you last purchased. So if I'm using a debit card, and I purchase my whole allowance on say a Wednesday at 3 p.m., it then resets the next Wednesday at 3 p.m. It doesn't reset on the next calendar week. It's just based on the last time you bought it. So yeah, basically the main thing to say here is that you can circumvent limits by just using different types of purchasing types. So for example, if I wanna buy a large volume of crypto, like I wanna buy 50 grand in one week, I could start by using my allowance on my debit card, go through that for the week. Okay, that's done. Once that's done, you can then use a separate allowance for my PayPal. So PayPal is free to use with Coinbase. There aren't any additional charges. You just link it to your credit card or debit card and then link the PayPal to Coinbase and just use it through that. So that's fine to use. And then you could every day buy 7,500. So that resets every day on top of this it's good to know that each of these limits is separate to each other so you can just stack them up and the same thing goes for things like apple pay and google pay these are things you can just connect your debit or credit card to and then connect these to coinbase and use them there should not be any additional fees using these as well i have used apple pay and there aren't any additional fees and then you can use another limit here so 10,000 per week on each of these so yeah, essentially you can combine these different payment methods and get quite a large allowance if you want to buy a lot of crypto in a short space of time. What I will say as well, just quickly for UK customers in particular, you may have noticed for things like debit cards that a lot of UK banks have actually blocked Coinbase because it's seen as a risky vendor. This happened, I think, over a year ago. So just as a tip, what I use is I use Monzo. Monzo does work consistently to buy crypto on Coinbase. I used to use things like Chase, but that got blocked. So I just use Monzo.